And the CDC director is calling the Delta COVID variant one of the most infectious respiratory viruses she's ever seen. Uh, take a look. You can see from this chart after that drop in numbers, cases are climbing once again. Uh, the more scary part is that we're also seeing a climb in hospitalizations and deaths. Victor Akendo is in Florida, a state with one of uh, one in five of all cases right now. Uh, Victor, what's the latest? This morning, CDC Director Rochelle Walensky sounding the alarm on the Delta variant. It is one of the most infectious respiratory viruses we know of and that I have seen in my 20-year career. Florida is experiencing the nation's most significant increase in new case numbers and hospitalizations. New cases are up by 490% over the last month, daily hospital admissions up by nearly 55% in the last week alone. Dr. Michelle Aquino says numbers in Jacksonville are skyrocketing and that 99.9% .9 of her hospital's patients have not been vaccinated. They're getting sicker faster and we're seeing a lot of these younger people in the ICU and we're seeing deaths in younger people. When you see someone under 40 die because of COVID, when there's a vaccine they could have gotten to prevent it, that breaks your heart. Missouri reporting a 234% jump in new virus cases over the last month. I personally have experienced more patients die within the past two weeks than I have had patients die in the last six months. Some cities tightening restrictions. New Orleans and Philadelphia joining Los Angeles now recommending that vaccinated people wear masks indoors, although the CDC is sticking to their mask guidelines for now. You may choose to add an extra layer of protection by putting on your mask and that's a very individual choice. Health officials in New Jersey and Massachusetts tracking these breakthrough cases note that while some people have become extremely ill or even died of COVID-19, these cases are extremely rare. And there is some good news coming out of L.A. County where the weekly vaccination numbers are up for the first time since the beginning of May. Diane. Victor Akendo, thank you. And let's bring in physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Lok Patel, for more on this. Uh, Dr. Patel, thanks for being here. We heard the CDC director there saying that the Delta variant is spreading with, quote, incredible efficiency. So what does that mean for us from a practical standpoint? Well, good morning, Dan. What it basically means that this virus is so contagious, a contagious version of the alpha variant, which we talked about for all of last year, that those normal levels of mitigation, that six feet we talked about, the exposure time, you know, even being in an area that has poor ventilation, like you might need, you might need a lot less of that to or in order to get infected. You don't need, necessarily need to be around someone for 10 to 15 minutes. It could be a lot shorter over time. And that's something that everyone needs to keep in mind, even if you're vaccinated. And the reason people keep bringing up the possibility of wearing masks if you're vaccinated is you can't tease out, you know, in a general crowd who's vaccinated or who's not, because we don't yet have a vaccine passport or a vaccine mandate. And this is especially concerning for people who are not yet vaccinated, but also those who are immunocompromised or who have made an underlying medical condition. So definitely something people need to pay attention to is the variant is spreading like wildfire. Now, do you think we'll see updated mask guidelines from the CDC if cases keep climbing? I don't see how we couldn't, let me put it that way. And so I do see that the CDC will put up some type of updated guidelines, especially for high risk people. Maybe there'll be some type of local guidance if a certain community has a certain level of transmission or a low enough level of vaccination. But again, not surprising, it's gonna come down to local and state guidance. And we've already seen that states do not agree when it comes to how to handle this pandemic. Now, a group of independent advisors to the CDC is now urging regulators to move quickly in determining whether people who are immunocompromised should get a vaccine boosters. And experts at a CDC meeting yesterday, they largely voiced support for those boosters. So do you see that happening? And what about for everyone else? So basically, and you're, you're, you're on point, what they were talking about yesterday is kind of data that originally started out of Israel and showing that, hey, a lot of these breakthrough cases in vaccine individuals are happening in people who have an immunocompromised condition. So whether it be from chemotherapy, HIV, an organ transplant, or autoimmune disease. And when I say breakthrough cases, I'm talking about hospitalized cases. And you know, this is something to pay attention to because these individuals could have a waning um, antibody response to the vaccine. And so I do see that possibly in the near future, soon, maybe in a few days, maybe this week, there will be updated guidance for those who are immunocompromised. For the rest of the individuals out there who are, may not have an underlying medical condition and who maybe need may be already vaccinated, there just needs to be more data about that. But Diane, I'll tell you, I have immunocompromised 
patients and friends who are already going out there and trying to get their own boosters, but, you know, off the table, trying to go to pharmacies and saying like, hey, I got Pfizer, I'd like a shot at Johnson & Johnson, because they're concerned. So I have a viewer question for you now, and, and this came from Twitter. This viewer is asking, would a booster shot be a different dosage than the initial shots were? I don't think we know that answer yet, because what's happening right now is there are some trials, we haven't seen the data, about whether or not it needs to be a booster shot that's tailored to the Delta variant or just another additional dose of the previous vaccine that we already got. But what we do know is that it's possible that just getting the exact same vaccine can boost your antibody response. It's important for viewers out there to know that the vaccines we have right now do work against the Delta variant. The question is the durability or how long that protection really lasts. And, and another viewer wanted to know about uh, the update on India, because we for a long time reported the, the situation there was very dire. Their case counts were up in the range of 400,000, and that's dropped significantly from its peak. It's now somewhere around 40,000. So the viewer wants to know what measures are working to make that happen. Is it, is it vaccines? Is it distancing? Is it lockdowns? Is it herd immunity because so many people got it? Do, do we know? You know, I don't know if we know all of it, and a lot of it comes down to underreporting. But that is an insightful question from that viewer because I do feel like, unfortunately, and I say that I say that very poignantly, is that it's the latter three. It probably is the fact that people are just more scared over there. They're staying home. They're doing what they can to protect themselves. And there is, unfortunately, some natural immunity spreading for people who are getting sick. You know, India, just like many other places in the world, are a story of vaccine inequity, and the fact that in the United States. We have to push people to get their vaccine. We're seeing outbreaks, and we have over 50% of our population vaccinated, which is not the case in India. You know, when I was talking to my own family in India during the height of the, the recent outbreak, it was incredibly heartbreaking how difficult it was for people to go out and get vaccines. All right, Dr. Alok Patel, we appreciate your time as always and your analysis. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.